Coates are on the mark for Sunderland, looking to end a six-year Premier League absence. Huddersfield, well, they have a fighting chance of maintaining their championship status, but still in a precarious position. An injury to Edouard Michu means a reshuffle for the hosts. Luke Nine and John Gallard return in place of him and the suspended Dennis Serkin. Alex Pritchard will drop deeper against his old club and Dan Neal in line for a 100th appearance in a Sunderland shirt. Neil Warnock against the club he nearly joined back in the early 90s. It's a well floated ball and it nearly caused problems for Huddersfield defence. Trying to get that ball away. A convincing header by Lyndon Gooch. There are options forward for Huddersfield. Distant shots. Not far away. They want a corner. And they'll get a corner from Diara's effort. Slight bit of pressure. And that's it from Gellart. On and won by Neil Pritchard. This is developing nicely. And there are options for the Black Cats if you can get this ball across. Cuts it back. First ever from Gallup block. Second one is somehow twisted around the post. Gallup causing mayhem. Brilliant play by Jack Clark to start the move. Frame of the golden eyes. Diara sending that wide. Dangerous ball from Karoma and wasn't too far away from Jaheim Headley. Madison stops and it would have been a brilliant ball. Well, his teammate's been on the same wavelength. It's not fans were anticipating the reverse fixture 2-0 at the John Smith Stadium is Pritchard normally off that parish Could be opening up for a shot here which on the overlap save Vatchley and hot clear by Huddersfield the terrier stretched the Czech goalkeeper called into action Roma desperately trying to shut off the angle. It's an awkward ball by Patterson. Roma can't capitalise. Maybe Caroma can. Ryan to win it back. What a clean passage of play, but Pritchard's got that away. And now there are bodies coming forward. And it's Gellar. Up against the defender. Oh, he's found the corner. And you have to ask questions about the defending. But it's a Leeds United low knee. He puts the West Yorkshire side behind in the Stadium of Lights. Free flying football on the promotion hopefuls. And get up, finding the gap between the legs of Tom Lees. Well weighted ball from Diallo. Paced with perfection. Sunderland draw first blood in their quest to hunt down the top six. A crucial 2 1 win for the Black Cats last time out against Birmingham. Won this back in a precious area of the field. And now Pritchard, can he make it two? Wasn't the best ball and scoops over the bar by Diallo. And he would have bounced on him to find the target, all right. Huddersfield almost made to pay for defensive laxness. Right to bounce more than once. Might be a gap opening up. Let's run for Headley. Just beyond him in the end. Ball still fished in. This is dangerous for the hosts. And the shot can't be found by Hadley in the end. So 
just away from his body. Still pressing for this equaliser. Here's Headley. Composed to find Ruffles. That's a good ball in. With by 09. Pearson. Now Lees. Could be a good ball. Oh, it's well red. Not flapping Sunderland. Now they're still in the corner. together and now it's Clark attacking and look at Roberts and he's making a beeline for the penalty area can he get it across to him well he very nearly didn't need him it's been more for Sunderland no Both teams have struggled with injuries towards the back half of this season. Huddersfield actually delayed their trip up to Wearside until this morning. They had to come up on Monday just to check the extent of the damage suffering the loss to Swansea on Saturday. The only can't control, but he won it back. And it's one for Coroma. And there are bodies in the middle. Oh, it's gone all the way through to Headley. Can he convert? Inches away. Anguish written across his face. It was an excellent cross from Karoma, not dealt with at all well at the back. Looks that fires just wide. And Sunderland lived to rue those chances in the first half. Run away cheaply. Karoma, and again, there are options for Huddersfield. Still Karoma, he's going to go himself, oh! But he finds the equaliser, and in sublime style too. Karoma, with the strength and the pace, shrugs off the challenge well, and it's a deft finish. One that Patterson couldn't get near. Game on once again. Well, if it stays like this, you can certainly say it's a result that favours the visitors over the hosts. Football to be played. Well, it's been playing some lovely stuff, but he's got away again. Now. He finds Clark. Still some work to do. Lovely ball. Dangerous Diallo. And denied. Still might be more danger. Diallo again. Gallar. Too many bodies in the way. They're going to have to try and go through them. And well, just far away. Defensive mindset from Huddersfield. Madoni, right place, right time. Kasumu, could they win it here? He's pushing on forward. Can he pick out an option? Couldn't convert. The chance was there. Now it could go the other way. Pritchard forward, receives it from Clark, and Clark will have it back. And now he's got options again. Put to Diallo. Missed control. At a critical moment as well. Options to pick from. Tommy Watson on the left, but we're always going to go with the four man Diallo. What about Huddersfield at the other end? Kasumu trying to find the ball. Diara couldn't muscle his way through. That 
that's it then. A big point for Huddersfield Town. One that isn't much use to the host, it has to be said. It's a slip up for Sunderland. The one that threatens to undermine their push for the playoffs. Huddersfield, there's still plenty of fight left in them. Just one defeat in seven now. Sunderland have three games left to haul themselves over the line. Get themselves into the top six. Two excellent finishes. A share of the points on Wearside.